Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. I am in quarantine, <laughs> like I think everybody else is, hopefully. I wanted to film a video today to give you guys a project, potentially. I, for the last five days, have been on a sewing streak and have been just non-stop using my sewing machine to make clothes, to mend clothes, to like do all these sewing projects that I've had on my mind for the last like however so long and finally have gotten to. Okay, so yesterday it rained really hard and we had a ton of snow here still and it rained really hard and melted almost all of it and today it is bright and sunny out and so I'm super super inspired to make a dress, make a summer dress. And I think this should be easy because I think everyone should have some sort of access to it. One of my favorite things to do is take old bed sheets, fitted or flat sheets, with cute patterns on them or white just like a white bed sheet or whatever and turn them into dresses i don't know how many of you have been around for this long but uh i bought this particular bed sheet like i think it's been a year now almost a year i bought this uh at a thrift store it was in one of my thrift haul videos because it's like oh look and i found this really cute sheet and uh, i'll maybe i'll make something out of it and I have not yet. It was a fitted sheet. I actually already cut off the elastic from around all of the edges. Now it lays flat. I think what I want to do is make it kind of a longer dress. One of my one of my biggest pastimes is sitting on Pinterest and pinning all sorts of clothes that I hope to make. And lately I've been pinning a lot of like below the knee dresses and floral pattern dresses. So I'll probably go off of the inspo on my Pinterest if you're interested in looking at my Pinterest, I'll put it right here. I'm really excited about this fabric because it looks kind of worn and vintagey and like soft summery uh, floral patterns. Now I'm just rubbing the fabric, that's nice. <laughs> uh, without further ado, let me get to making it. Okay, you can't see my head. <laughs> I work on the floor because biggest place to spread out. I've begun putting down a sheet so that I don't get the floor all full of lint and threads and <laughs> it just keeps it cleaner. So we're gonna start by taking our fabric and spreading it out. For this I would recommend looking up a circle skirt calculator. If you just google, literally just google circle skirt calculator, you will find a circle skirt calculator. <laughs> and then you will literally just type in your measurements. So I'm going to do a half circle skirt because a full circle skirt would be a lot of fabric. To do that, I'm going to take this whole sheet and it's going to go in half instead of fourths. A fourths would be a full circle skirt. The circle skirt edge, like the waistline, is going to be up on this corner. Uh, and then the length is going to be determined by where the fabric ends. So because it was a fitted sheet, it had that sewn together. This piece was sewn together as the piece that fits around the corner. So I had to cut it straight so that it would lay flat. So this is going to be the shortest point on my skirt. I'm gonna take my circle skirt calculator. I'm gonna find that right now. Okay, so I'm gonna take my circle skirt calculator and I'm going to work in inches and then I'm going to do a half circle skirt and I want it to be a midi, but we don't know if that's gonna work out with my fabric. That's just them asking. <laughs> my waist is 25, but I'm gonna go with 26 because you never know how much you're gonna need. Then you do the math and then the waist radius is seven and three quarters. I'm taking this corner, which has one open side and one folded side. It would be helpful if you have a piece of chalk. So I'm going to go from the corner and I'm going to go down and I'm going to mark seven and three quarters and then I'm going to do it on this side as well. And then I'm going to go to the middle and I'm going to keep this lined up right at the edge of that. That way. Do that again and just keep going around until you've got a full quarter circle. Okay, so now 
that you have that drawn out, don't cut it out yet because you're going to make the marks for the rest of your dress. Okay, so the shortest point on my skirt is going to be this edge. So I'm going to use that measurement and that's going to be the longest that I can make my skirt, which is 36 inches. So now I'm gonna do what I just did, but I'm going to do it at this further point. So 36 inches all the way around. Okay, so now I've done both of the chalkings, so I'm going to go ahead and cut out both of them. <laughs> now we've got the base for our circle skirt. Relatively easy. So the next thing that we're going to have to do is to hem the bottom of the circle skirt. Whereas I used to just sew the hem by feel and like hem it straight away on the machine. I now have learned that you will get a lot less wrinkling and weird crinkled hems if you iron your hem first. <laughs> this is a lot of work, I will warn you. Go once, get that part done, and then fold it over again once you've done the whole length of the skirt. <laughs> So I've got the hem all done, and now I'm just going to sew the hem down, just using a straight stitch. So now that I've got my circle skirt done, I actually just have it pinned in the back for now. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do for the closure. Now that I have that part done, I have to figure out what I'm going to do for the top. So the way that I visualize things is I'll take scrap fabric, which is just like pieces from the fabric that I cut off. And I'll take something like this and I'll hold it here and then I'll maybe drape these things over the shoulders to see what armbands might look like. And then I'll kind of cover the waist with my arm just to kind of visualize what I think the whole dress will turn out like because it's really hard to kind of decide when I'm just looking at the skirt. I think I'm going to need a waistband here just to add a little bit of shape instead of just joining two fabrics together so that's kind of what I've gathered from that I think I'm gonna make a waistband um, I like this square neckline so I think I'm gonna do that and then maybe thicker straps because I like the look of this right now I still haven't quite figured out what I'm gonna do for the closure on the back I don't know I tend to like backless dresses. For this one, I might add a short little back and maybe do a button closure. First off, I wanna make it accessible for a lot of people who are at home who maybe don't have zippers right now. Um, I don't, I'm kind of short on zipper suppliers anyway, so that's fine by me. And you can also take buttons off of like clothes that you don't use very often or what, you know, just kind of like find, find things. <laughs> now that I've decided I'm going to have a waistband, I'm going to go ahead and cut out some waistband fabric. The waistband is going to be the same length as the top of your skirt, but I'm going to also add a little length just for my own human error. <laughs> so I'm gonna add just a little bit on either side just so that I am comfortable with the amount of fabric. I can always cut fabric off. Adding fabric is a lot harder. And now I have to decide how thick I want my waistband. So I'm thinking I'm gonna make my waistband two and a half inches. I'm gonna measure to three inches because of the seam. So I'm gonna call it three inches. So then I have to double it and make it six because I'm doubling it over so that it's nice and sturdy waistband. So now that I have the, the now that I have the waistband, I'm gonna, I folded it in half. I'm gonna take my iron and I'm gonna iron that crease in there really nice and good. The other piece that I need to do now to iron down is going to be these pieces. So I'm actually going to open this back up. Now it's on the inside, I'm going to fold these pieces in so that those are going to be tucked out of sight. You're not gonna have frayed edges anywhere in your dress. Make them a half inch. Okay, 
Okay, so I've got both sides ironed down and now I can fold it back in half. I'm gonna go over it one more time with my iron. Okay, I'm going to take my skirt, which the tripod is currently on. So now that that's done, I'm going to pull my skirt up and basically I'm gonna tuck it all in between this piece of fabric that I just folded over. This is important, you'll wanna fold under. So about as much fabric as you have folded under here, you're gonna wanna pull up into there. So that much of your skirt is gonna go in there. So on the end of your skirt, make this hem over. Pull this open and then you're going to put as much of your skirt in as you have hemmed over inside of the waist contraption thing. <laughs> so you line it up like this. Don't forget to hem over this piece too over here. Close your waist piece. And then I'm gonna pin it. Since this is pinned on properly, I should be able to pick it up. And there is my skirt waistband. So now obviously I'm gonna go sew this on and then I'm going to figure out the rest of my problems. Now that I've got the waistband on, I'm going to close up the back side of the skirt. And I'm not going to do this all the way. I'm going to probably go about, about halfway. So I'm gonna take my two open pieces and I'm going to hem them. So I'm gonna fold those corners in. I'm gonna iron that down on both sides. And then I'm going to sew them together on top of each other. So it'll go like this. Sorry, I'm in my bra. It's just the reality of what you gotta do. Now I've got my skirt done. It's just pinned. I, so there's still an opening in the back. There's like a slight opening just so that I can get it on and off. I'm going to add buttons to that later. What I'm gonna focus on right now is the top. And so I'm thinking I'm gonna have the waistband hit right about here. And then I think I want the top to hit right about here. Now I'm going to measure from the waistband from where I want it to hit, make sure it's sitting where you want it to hit you. Don't let it hit you. And then you're gonna measure from there to wherever you want that neckline to be, measure to there. Okay, so the key to this is going to be making sure, I have like almost no boobs, so it's not that big of a deal for me. Anyone with boobs is gonna wanna measure over your boobs um, because it adds a curve, which adds length your fabric. And again, you can always go a little bit higher because you can always take fabric away, but it's always harder to add on. I'd say it's about eight inches. It's probably gonna be more like six and a half or seven, but I'm going to go with eight because that way I can have a little bit of wiggle room for the seam, okay? So this piece is gonna be eight inches. I'm gonna need to double that because I'm going to double it over. So it's going to be 16 inches that I'm going to cut out on my fabric. Width-wise, it's going to be the length around your chest area, so around your boobs as well. So for me, that's like 32. I'm gonna go quite a bit longer than that, just so again, I have wiggle room to play with. So I'm probably gonna just do like 36 inches. So I've done it ironed it over in half, so it's in half. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to find where I want it to hit. I'm going to look at where it's hitting and that's the line. Pull it off and this is how much I'm not going to be using. <laughs> this is how much I'm going to be using as the hem it's gonna go on the inside, so I'll be cutting a bit, quite a bit off, but I'm going to measure how much that is, and then I'm gonna iron that down so that I know where to cut and know where the seam can be. Okay, so I've figured out that I want this bodice piece to be five and a half inches from the top of the skirt waistband to the top of the chest piece up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this piece, I'm going, you know how these pieces are not connected. I'm going to tuck the edges in and sew them together so that it's one piece, just like we did on the waistband. I'm going to make it five and a half 
plus a half inch on the top. So I'm gonna make it six inches total. That way I've got a half inch to hem it onto this piece. And then it will be exactly five and a half inches long. Now that I have sewn this piece together, it looks like this. I'm going to add darts to it. So I'm gonna take a little past the middle of my boob to the other past the middle of my boob. <laughs> seven and a half inches uh, because I'm going to put darts right here and right here on this piece of fabric that I just sewed. I'm going to find the middle of my fabric and then I'm going to put the darts in their places. You're just gonna have to keep kind of messing around with it and you'll just continue to hold it up to yourself until it seems to fit the curve of your boob nicely. Attached the upper bodice piece. Here's how the darts turned out. There they are. Just add a nice little curve to the dress. Instead of doing the straps right now, I'm actually going to get the buttons done up on the back so that I can see how it fits, where it falls, and then I can get the correct length for the straps. You're just going to hem these over so that they're a nice straight line for you to add buttons to and then add buttons and I will show you how that turns out. Okay, I know it looks the same, but the back, I have to put buttons on. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> so there are buttons down the back. I've hemmed the edges and I've done a bit of a V back because I just didn't want like a full straight back. I think it gives it a little bit more shape and I still have a couple buttons to add. I've just cut a very long strip of fabric that I plan on hemming to make straps. Put it in so you can see what I'm thinking. And I've been playing with the size but I think this is about the right size which is two inches. That's what I'm thinking and I think that will look really cute. I like that square neckline. Kind of looks like a older vintagey dress. So that's what it's gonna turn out like. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and sew these and then sew them on and I will just stitch like a straight seam across really close to the edge and then maybe another one just to make sure that they're nice and reinforced on the edges. And then I will put them onto the back. I will sew them onto the back and then we're pretty much done. And I'll show you tomorrow in the daylight, because it's starting to get dark out, how it turns out. Yeah, so I'm gonna get that done now. Hello folks, I have finished the dress. I think I left you guys at the point where I was adding buttons and finishing up the armbands, armbands, the sleeves, straps. It, I'm not gonna lie, it's been like two days since I finished it, because I finished it with a glass of wine <laughs> and it was, dark and I was way over filming. <laughs> so I'm gonna just show you what it turned out like right now. So um, yeah, basically this is what the back turned out like. I decided to kind of hem it down into a V shape. Finished up the buttons. I might add like another button right here just because it's pulling a little bit. And then I added straps and the straps are relatively easy, but I really like that they're just nice and square for the neckline. I think that's all I did. I think that was the end. This is the dress. This is what it turned out like. I am quite happy with it. I, I would recommend if you are going to do this and you have the capabilities, I would recommend a zipper instead of buttons because it will keep the line a lot more nice and even as opposed to the buttons which tend to have tension on the spots that the buttons are and add maybe an inch more than what I added for the waistline because it is really snug on me. I forgot to account for how much I actually needed for the seams, so don't make my mistakes. It could stand to be like just slightly bigger. So, um, yeah, so that's the entire thing. That's the dress. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, as always, if you guys make, make things inspired by this or whatever, tag me on Instagram. Send it in a DM. I love seeing what you guys come up with. So have a nice rest of your week. See you later.